Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Mr. Maker. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Man, I'm here, man. Hey, we got a special guest, man. We down here in H Town, man. This is our first time in H Town. We've been to Vegas, Cali, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we be in Dallas. But today, we in H Town where it really go down. I'm a Texas hardhead. I love the South, nigga, and I'm at home because Texas is my home. Check it, man. My boy Dougie in the building. What's going on, baby? Hey, man, we in here, man. Say, you know, man. In here like how they say we in there like swimwear. Yeah, I think I think what the young niggas say what the old niggas say. Oh yeah, I'm old nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. So how you doing, man? Man, I'm cool, man. I'm real cool, man. Like no bullshit. Yeah, I can tell, man. You like you just laid back with it, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. Is that the Houston vibe thing going? Oh, you know, we screwed up. Ooh. <laughs> we screwed up. Say so so check Are it. Are you man. originally born and raised here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You you from from the H. Yeah. What part of town? What, what? We small city, Southwest, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you all over the thing, yeah, really. Yeah. Well, like went T- to uh, T- yeah, well, tell us how 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 it was. How, yeah. Madison. How was it growing up in, in H Town? And let's, why let's did you back. have to move around so much? Oh uh, shit, man, you know, life, mama, daddy, relation they relationship, you know what I'm saying? Like they was grown. I was a kid. I gotta go where mama go. Man. You gotta go where mama go. Yeah. Were they together? Oh, uh, for a little while, then they split up and shit, you know. Daddy went and did his thing. Yeah. Um, so, you know. so the, the the thing I have to ask you is, man, like, so with daddy doing this thing, you know, mama doing her thing, what was you doing? You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Like, like, was you bad, man? Nah, or coming yeah, up nah, getting, I, no, Was you honest, getting your school I, grades yeah, and yeah, stuff? I, like, <laughs> I was an honor roll kid and shit, For man. sure? Hey, yeah, I was an honor roll kid, man. He sounds surprised. No, 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 because we be hardheads. You know, we nah, be in the street. I ain't fuck around really, man, until, like, when... when when I was 12, when mom and pop split up, that's when I started fucking around. Being rebellious. Now, I wasn't being rebellious. Shit, I started getting money, goddammit, because she had mom, uh, pops left. Mom was struggling. Mm-hmm. And nigga, we got a, um, I'm seeing eviction notes, mom crying. I could read. I know what this shit mean. My yeah. little homeboy put me on the game. And so, shit, from there. Were it you the oldest on. child? Huh? Are you the oldest child? Yeah. Okay. How many siblings do you have? I got my, my sister Shamara and then. Like I said, What's her name? Shamara. Okay, because my daughter's my name sister. is Shamari. Yeah, our daughter's name is Shamari. Yeah. So that's it's so kind of close. Right. Then I got my sister Channing, Styles, Kogan, uh, my brother Chris. <laughs> Wow. Uh, my pops be slanging that dick. Wow. <laughs> pops slanging that dick. Ain't trying to hear a lot of girls, though. I don't, that's pops. Yeah. 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 So, pops. Dougie, the, the name, it done showed up in songs and everything else, man. So, ripping through the city like you do, what how, what would make people put their eye on Dougie, man? What made, what, what made people talk home in the Dougie? Man, really on the cool, like, this shit started way back with me, Zero, and Trey doing Gorilla Mob. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, and Taz. Yeah, uh, we started doing it then, but like before that shit, we was at Willow Ridge High School getting it in. Like a bunch of the homies, man, Killer Clan, um, faculty, a lot of a lot of the homies from Bridegate. Just, just it was like neighborhoods and Quail Run, Ridge Mud. Just a lot of the homies from Mo City, man. Like this is Mo City. Yeah, and the niggas used to be at the Ridge and talking about spinning that rap shit, man. Like real rap. Yeah, and then, and, and, you know. Niggas growed up and started fucking around with record companies and shit. And how did y'all put that group together though? Like, um, like how did y'all come together? The Rhythm Mall was really some shit. We started at Willow Ridge. Okay. Was Zero started that shit at Rhythm Ridge. It was a couple of other homies that was in it originally. Uh, the homeboy Trey. Man, yeah. Uh, and uh, Trey Tremaine. I was at Trey. You talking about Trey? No, nah, nah, not nah, Trey the Truth. No, nah, yeah, Trey the Truth. He, he, I know he, he was in it, but yeah, but yeah, but I, yeah, I, yeah. You can't have Gorilla Mall without Trey. Okay, yeah, <laughs> but but what you I was and the reason I said Trey. But now nah, it was one of the other homies, Tremaine. He ended up going to jail and shit when we was in high school. Okay, you know, okay. Then when that shit had started, but it didn't become like a rap group until like me, Trey, and Zero and Taz put that shit out. Yeah, it's, with our first album. How old were you when all of that went down? 
But how Trey the youngest. Trey was the youngest. Oh really? Yeah, the impact. How how did you how did you get that? I mean, you know, when you first when you, how did you first know, man, we got something like when when you when, from the people, you know, taking notice. Man, honestly, when everybody was just we was just doing shows every goddamn way cuz we like man, we was just niggas who could rap. We didn't we, we didn't know the business and none of that shit, man. Mm-hmm. We was just niggas who could rap like most niggas be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we put that shit out. We had we had uh our homie Rock Kiss Jacobs. Shout out to Rock, man. Love that nigga, man. He the one who helped us develop into who we was. You know what I mean? As yeah. artists. Like he the one who had us singing and doing all this ocean. Zero was already saying cause he that's just That was he do. You know what I'm saying? But he had us finding finding our our sounds and shit that we good with and using that shit in our music. So that's why we able to do that shit now. So once again, shout out to Rakesh Jacobs. And, and he was making all the beats for us and shit. Zero was making beats and shit too, though. Zero make them beats? Yeah, he fuck with them beats. And he good with it. Like, yeah, gonna come yeah, out yeah. there with a hit. Yeah, that nigga, that he fuck with it. He, he, y'all done heard a lot of shit he done made already. That nigga been making beats like since we was young. In the room, making beats. We rapping, punching holes in the wild. <laughs> what where, where was you at when they made that song? I don't need no help, my nigga. Oh, man, I can I'm, do bad on streets. my own. In the streets? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the streets doing my shit. In the streets, <laughs> in the streets doing my shit. They was doing some. Uh, they was doing the ABN shit. Yeah. And I was out in the streets just doing my own thing. That was, was that was that was before. That was after, after y'all had formed. Yeah. yeah. That was after the Gorilla Mob shit. How hard? We had Gorilla Mob, Slow Loud and Banging, and then the ABN shit. Okay, how, got it. How hard was it to keep a group together? Because you know groups don't never last. Nah, shit, that shit didn't last. I mean, you know, because I mean, you know. Everybody, man, you know, everybody had their own thought perceptions about shit and about what right. they think need to be done and what need to be done. But at the end of the day, nobody nobody really just knew the business of shit, man. And it's fucked up. So do you feel like if someone knew the business or all of y'all, you think you'd still be together? Probably so. Probably so. But at the end of the day, I mean, I, I, know, I know for a long time, we didn't talk with each other for a while and shit. Wow. But, but me and Trey, me and Trey, like through all the bullshit, like I had, man, I, I, I'm going to hustle all the way through whatever the fuck I was doing. I had a job. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to rap. Uh, I'm just not going to rob and steal. That's not my, I don't fuck around mm-hmm. like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just didn't do none of that. So like through all the whole shit, like me and Trey, that nigga would come up to my motherfucking job and we'll be outside running it. Because <laughs> every job I had, nigga, I was cool with the, with the boss or the owner. So, I pretty much did what the fuck I wanted to do with whatever job I had. You know what I'm saying? So how uh, how did you, how did when you and Trey still talk now? Right now, um, how, cause that Trey Day thing is real big down yeah, here, man. Yeah, yeah. You know that's what. But when we was in Atlanta, they were having Trey Day, and uh, um, cheating ass Myron flew down. He mm-hmm. did an interview with us when he got back to Atlanta, mm-hmm. and it's just a big thing. All the artists were either coming here or either going to that Rolling Loud, yeah. and, and it happened at the same time. Yeah. That same weekend, I so yeah, the, the last trade, this, this trade that they just passed, yeah, he had me out on stage performing one of my new songs that I got with Bun B called "So Hard." You know what I'm saying? I performed that shit and that then he had a "So call Hard." Me. Y'all got a vi- y'all got yeah. visuals to it yeah, yet? Me and Bun, me and Bun, and my bro Kid James. And y'all got visuals or yeah, yeah, it's out right now. It's been out on uh, World Star, Street Flavor, everywhere, man. That's something. Mm. That's on them. Yeah, man, we just working, man. How is that? How is the creative? Uh, how's the creative? Uh, just the process of going in there with Bun and creating some 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 real dope. Well, know? actually, man, like I, I've been wanting to get something done with Bun, and I hit my kid for Trey. I was like, man, look, run this on um, by Bun for me, and shit. Uh, he sent me Bun number. I ran it with Bun on the phone. Like, man, I've been trying to fuck with you for a long time, OG, and I sent him the beat with the with the hook and shit to it. And you know, I think he was sick and shit for a little minute. Like, mm-hmm. like he had, he had went down with, with a little flu or some shit. Okay, but he shook back from that bitch and hit me back. It was like, Doug, I'm on the way to the lab right now, nigga, and this whole hard and sent me back to verse and shit. And I was like, man, that's what's up. And hit him about the video. It's like no problem, shit. Send me the addy. Send him the addy. And it he on. pulled up and we rocked the fuck out. That's good. We rocked the fuck out. And on that same joint, I got a. Uh, I hit Trey, he, he he plugged me in with uh Big Crit. Big Crit gonna be on the rip. Uh, well he actually on the remix, it's just not out yet. Mm-hmm. So we oh, just working, really? man. This P U D shit, man, we working, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so so you 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 basically what what is the process for you when you go in there to make 
create music? Do you punch in? You freestyle? No, it? no, no, hell no. I write my shit. You write, okay. I'm, I'm still old school. Old school, old school with it. I just, I just, I just write in my nowadays. phone now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't use paper and pen no more. I write in the phone. They bought me an iPhone, told me, Daddy, you got to catch up. So, <laughs> you know, shit. That's what, I, that's what it is. I oh, write really? all my songs in my iPhone. So whenever a nigga got to print them out for, for the copyrights and all that old shit, everything be, be straight. How hard was it for you to adjust to the new technology, the way how things are compared to the way how things used to be in the music industry? I don't like it. I still don't like it. I still got to tell these niggas, man, how you do this? How you do that? Oh, my son, oh, I had my son do that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, like, I'm, How old is your son? Uh, 50, he finna be 16. Hey, oh, that boy just that like age. you. <laughs> they're that age, they know it all. He know everything. He know yeah, it that all. nigga, he a football star, man. Are you good okay. with it? Man, boy, boy no. you running down the track, you running yeah. down the field yourself. Like, yeah, man, yeah. go, nigga. How many kids you got? I got a daughter and a son. That's, oh, that's dope, it. man. No, you, didn't, you, you weren't like daddy? Nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> I, I, I know my wife since I was... Man, I'm losing count. It's, it's you can't. I was about to say you can't forget double, that. It's, it's double digits. You can't years. forget that she gonna hear like this. She, she, she know I be forgetting shit. She know what kind of hood she got. <laughs> she know about thirteen hood, years, about thirteen, fourteen, some shit like dope, that. Dope man. Yeah, know, what y'all meet in high school? Nah, in the hood, most city. In the hood, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yeah. So when when you when you first like dealing with how is the creative process with the chemistry? How was it? With you, Zero, and uh, Trey. That shit was easy, man, because we was family. Like, we family. That shit was easy. We was niggas who was broke, struggling, and Rakesh was in this bitch cranking up fire-ass beats, and we was just in that hotel telling our pain and story from mm-hmm. the streets on these beats. And that, that was the easy part. Making the music was easy. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, was, it, was, it was us not knowing the business so we could get the motherfucking money. Already, that was the problem. What um, about the show money and stuff? It didn't ever come through. Yeah, we got show money. I mean, like, like I said, enough. like I said on all the other interviews that I did, I never set up no shows. I never knew how much we was getting paid mm. or none of that shit. Wow. All I know is when my nigga said, hey, Dougie, we got a show here. Nigga, boat up, nigga. That's what I did. I wow. boat up, and then when the money got broke, nigga, I just put my hand out, and they put it in my hand, and I put it in my pocket, and on to the next. Yeah, that's but you you trust them. That's why these my niggas. I I don't. I'm gonna go back to the highs, go to work, sell something because I'm a hustler. Right. And that's I, I'm gonna have me some hustles, man. That's what I'm gonna do. But even if they're your friends and stuff like that, you supposed to always. No, these is my, these was more than friends. These brothers. niggas, I, I I nigga, we broke bread with. Talk right. about split chimney tans with and slept in my house, slept at your house, like. But you still uh, share clothes to just know. and shit. Like, Know what's niggas. going on. These were my niggas, man. Mm. So, okay, so if you're advising a kid back then, okay, 19, you, a kid out there, you see them going down the same road that you went down. Yeah. What would you, ad- they're in a group. Know your business, man. I don't give a damn. That's, that's good game. I don't give a damn. That's good game. Who you it? I don't give a fuck if you if it's your brothers or whoever the fuck know your business. So that way, at least you can tell you can tell them. Say, bro, look here. We really supposed to be getting a lot of bread. Like, nigga, we we need to copyright this shit. We need to uh, motherfucking uh, get our publishing. We need to make sure we, we 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 own the masters and shit. We need to like we need to know the business, bro, so we can get the money and keep the money. Mm-hmm. Like everybody want to be in the videos holding up the money and the stats and shit. That's cool. Cash and shit, that's cool, but you got to keep that shit. Because mm-hmm. these, these folks see your ass getting that money, and then they start hitting your ass with these weird-ass charges and cases, and niggas be trying to get at your dick and shit. You out here spending your money on lawyers and bond and dumb-ass shit, buying more guns and drugs and shit, man, like... That shit be crazy. Niggas I think them. that's why a lot more artists are going independent because they have that yeah. knowledge to know, you know, about the business. You win like that, so. though. You win like that. And the majors don't like that shit, too, though. And I, I think that's why a lot of niggas be getting took down. A lot of successful independent niggas, they, they be trying to take them down because them niggas is thinking outside the box and getting their own money. Mm-hmm. And them motherfuckers, like, at first, they probably went to the majors on some, bitch, give me a deal. 
And the maids were like, nah. And them niggas were like, fuck you then. Bitch, I'm finna go out here and turn up. And when it turned up, and now they getting all this independent money, and them folks looking like, wait a minute, bitch, you getting too much money. We want in. And the nigga like, hell nah, bitch, I'm good with what I'm doing. What's the highest paid um, artist that you know of that's independent? I don't know because I don't watch other niggas' pockets. Hey, I knew that was coming, nigga. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I don't know. I don't yeah, watch that's other a real pockets. one right there. And I'm going to tell you something. I, 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 I like that because, no, because that's, what, that's the answer. No, because I was just wondering, being independent, how far can you get in this industry? See, I know he'd be a young boy, independent. And he going in. And he's going in. And and Take nine. Take nine, too. Take nine. In you know Kansas, saying? you ever heard of Tech Nine? Yeah, I heard of him. Yeah, that nigga independent. Yeah. He 80 million, 60 million. Yeah, so man, these boys niggas, eating. Niggas go independent and win, man. Yeah. So that uh, that uh, uh so hard. Mm -hmm. Um how how was it doing that with Bun B and and versus working back in the days? Cause we talking years yeah, and years now, apart. Oh shit, now nigga more polished with his with his with his craft, man. And this, this this like I said, this rap shit easy, and then you got Niggas like Kid James singing on that whole the way he singing, like you can't do nothing but, but 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 turn up man and and and, and go in. You can't do nothing but do it. Yeah, so like, cause, cause, like cause, you just yeah. working with a bunch of creative geniuses, man. Mm -hmm. Like and, and, and like. I ain't too shabby in my motherfucking. Self. You got you to be special though. Man. The reason so, you, you know, special is because. I ain't seen Bun just getting on there with nobody here lately like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the OG man. But that show the respect ball, you man. got in the in, in the yeah, Houston yeah, area yeah, for yeah, him to step ball. up and do that for you like that. Yeah, that's dope, bro. That's a big homie, man, for real. How often do you write? Shit, whenever I, I got a beat to write to, I'm not one of them niggas that got a thousand songs already. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I'm not one of them niggas like that. I, everything I do is fresh. Fresh. Everything I do is fresh. So you gotta come into the studio and be like, okay, play a beat. Find oh, nigga, a beat send me that, a beat. Or, 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 send, or Bow's ass. He be like, Doug, I got some beats for you. And I bang my email up and I run through them hoes and all right, I'm fucking with this, this, that, or that. And shit, I go on my zone and I go write my shit. And how I, long it take you to write? It depends. How, it depends on the beat. Like if that bitch just grab me and I and I, I ain't gotta like do no hook to uh, like. If that bitch grabbed me and I can start just thinking of the hook like right there on the spot without even having to write that hoe, it ain't gonna take me too long. Probably a couple of hours or two, maybe two, three hours to finish the whole song. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe two, three hours, maybe to finish the whole song. Yeah, I'm gonna go in. Yeah. But last like last night shit, I had to knock out a verse. I wrote that whole an hour. Like something like my young niggas, they 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 real fast, man. I just I just I I, I be I be like really thinking when I be doing my shit. I be thinking, mm -hmm. I be yeah. thinking, but I try not to overthink that shit though. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to take too that long. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to take too long. So, do you think that? Uh, uh, do you do you like what the music is now? The digital world we in? Yeah, man. I mean, see, because you can be everywhere without being there. Mm -hmm. You you can be in everybody's house by just a click of a button. That's that, and that's the dope part of Straight it. Straight up, I can be on your screen. I can be in your ears with just a click of a button. How is your social media looking? Uh, do you work it? I mean, I, I be on there. I be. Do you go I, live? Nah, I don't be doing something. Because, because, man, I be doing a bunch of shit. Like I be, like, I be on my, in my, on my fitness shit. I be in the gym working out. They love yeah. to see that you know, though. I, mean, I be putting my videos up and shit. You no, know, I got my own little fitness company. Me and me and some of my healthy gang. That's dope, man. Be in the gym working out and getting it in, man. I have to change my life from an unhealthy lifestyle, man. I'm trying to live, man. I love. You got, man. you got, you got something you wrote. If I put a beat on, you can go in right quick. Man, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. But I ain't doing that shit a long time. It gotta be a dope beat. Yeah, yeah. It gotta be something that grab him like that. Yeah, I ain't did it in a while, but I probably can still, man. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I be, I be just trying to figure things out, man. You gotta push. Yeah, I, I want to show. I know already. You got some. You've been doing it too long. Yeah, man. You know, it's too slow. I don't like one of them uh, DJ Tate. It is, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he already know. Yeah, I know. I, I love them niggas, man. He did too. Love them boys. Yeah. All right. Come on with it. Let's go. This is Ball Talk 101, baby. Style. One time for your motherfucking mind. 
it's the nigga Douglas, bitch, I'm on the grind. Yo, and you know we out the side, we dripped up and draped out, you know what I'm talking about. It's the T motherfucking D, bitch, I'm a G. I walk in, nigga, uh, T Lee up on the dice game, and you know I'm gon' swing. Yo, bitch, I do my damn thing, I'm from the side, bitch, it's talking by, bitch, it's going down. Yo, bitch, I make your boogie dying. It's the Dougie. You can't help but love me. On the south side, riding hard and getting money. Boss like bunny. Let the fifth dine. Rolling on foes, look bitches. H time. Dripping on the candy. Sipping on brandy. I don't drink alcohol, bitch. I ride candy. Riding on candy. Dripped up and you know it all. Uh, on the south, uh, bitch, they show me love. Yo. Hey. This is how we do it. Flow life fluid, nigga. Getting straight to it. I do it. Man, that you know, boy Dougie, man. Is, man. Say, man, know. Dougie, man. I like to see him. Hey, you can't have a horse that don't ride it, nigga. You can't, you can't have a nigga that can rap and don't work with it. You know. Man, you know, we just come off the dome. That's how nigga. Man, he, H Town. That's how I feel. That's how I feel when I think about H Town. You just put me there, bro. You just put me there. You know what I'm saying? That's how we had to do, man. Yeah. So when, 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 who was the first person? You heard come with that style like that, man. Man, see it. Cause it's the whole Houston movement, of course. He and Pat and ooh, all them boys, ooh, man. You know, see, them boys was the first to do it. They were the right, boys. boys. And they came through. They came like, on the Candy Tri Sizzle. Did you ever see like 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 he or any of them boys just go in nah, like I, and you were there? I, I, I didn't never get to be there to see. You that never shit. were there. No, I never get to be there. But to you see just that. you like them niggas you going know, in. But I was at the house like with Screw them and Charlotte and Mac and Mo them and all that old shit when he was at the house in the moat. Yeah, you know, yeah. I used to be over there at that motherfucker with Trey and Roe. Yeah, yeah. Because that's zero. Like, I ain't gonna lie, uh, Screw loved the shit out of Roe. I he, bet he, he did. He loved the Roe. He did. Uh, he did. How, was those, how was those times? Give me a little bit of just, just I mean, give me did. something on them because I wasn't there and I never could be there now, but give me something on those times. the music industry, man, it, 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 was, it, was, it, was, it was great because Screw brought everybody together, man. Even, even like, I, that Screw shit brought niggas like as as it continued to go, they start fucking with niggas from the north and shit, man. Niggas Already. just start getting money, bro. Like niggas was like screw started some shit, then you know they led on to Michael Watson them doing their thing, and and it just really started a whole H time movement where nigga it was just love now. Like, yeah, like, niggas weren't killing each other from over the north and the south. After, like that shit stopped. So the music, you know the music, the music penetrated yeah, all yeah, that, bro. Like DJ Screw and 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 yeah, that shit was the reason why that that shit slowed up, bro. Like that the north and south bullshit to me. That's what I believe, bro. Cause niggas started interacting with each other. At first, niggas was it, it was bad. At first, it was bad, but after a while, like they started fucking around. You had you could hear them niggas on the screws got Dave from the fold and. Yeah, you hear them boys saying shit like they they, they connecting. Let me ask you, I always from the outside looking in. When I look at like the younger dudes, like the Sauce Walkers versus yeah, the old, on. yeah, just he just the, yeah, for for versus I, like I love what they doing, but versus the the old school, you know, uh, 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 type style you of rap, yeah, yeah. which he does. He he to me I can I know he's he Houston all in him yeah like like when when sauce sauce them man they got their own lane bro cause like on some real but shit but he Houston is hell yep I'm gonna be the first I think ain't nobody else said to me that nigga is the reason why everybody dripping and splashing now for sure. For sure. That I know I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm, this camera watching. Oh me? yeah. Oh yeah. The, on <laughs> boss talk one on one. On boss talk one on one. I'm saying it. I believe right now, Sauce Walker and the whole Sauce Tribe is the reason why niggas is saucing and splashing and dripping right now. Wow. And that's why if you if you saying you saucing and splashing and dripping in your songs, thanks to Sauce Walker. Thanks to them, Sauce Walker. Right? Straight up. You know, it's always funny how, like, even when 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 my boy UGK and was saying trio, and it was like, damn, yeah, like nigga was yeah, trying to steal yeah, what they yeah. had created. Mm -hmm. Same thing with yeah. sauce. A lot of stuff. Not just that's why I said it earlier in the other interview when I was on there with uh with, with Big Pup. You know, uh, man, people come down here to get different things and they take it back and try yeah. to make it their own in their yeah. own city. And they've been doing that for years. Yeah. It ain't just started. Yeah. Texas got a thing, man, and they always come and trying to get it. The South, man, I think we just, like, me personally, 
Don't get it fucked up. New York and them, they, they the ones who started this mute rap shit, this hip hop shit, like, you know what I'm saying? They made it big, like, but in the side row, we got a, we, we got a style and a swag that everybody, everybody, everybody get a taste of, and they take that shit back. And a lot of people don't really just pay homage, though. They don't. They don't pay they don't. homage, though. Like, I done seen Sauce get, get at them niggas about stealing it. Yeah, certain things from. He gonna shit. get at them niggas. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna let them niggas just get it. Man. That way, it's, 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 it, 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 it remind me like a, a Pimp C me, or somebody. Man. Like, you ain't just fit to do nothing to him, and he ain't gonna say something back. See, I've been trying to is, interview that nigga, man. I like that dude, man. That little nigga there is smart as fuck. Oh, you know how to keep that attention? That nigga there get... Man, that nigga there is more than that. It's more than that with that nigga. By me being the age that I am and understand business and understanding just just marketing and and, 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 and and going to get money. Now that I'm learning all the shit that I've learned now, he he been around some motherfuckers and learned some shit already. Wow. So I like I know like that nigga there, I, I watched this nigga on the uh he was giving information about a new OnlyFans thing since OnlyFans mm -hmm. shut down or some yeah. shit. This nigga here and got a whole new motherfucking site for motherfuckers who still want to get money on that shit. Like the nigga, a young genius, man. Dope. Yeah, and he gon' he gonna always get money. I, and, and he and his, and his team, I, he keep his team on too. So I, that's what that's what I like about that shit. And I gotta ask you about uh, a guy that we had on the show, uh, DJ Chose. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do you? How do you feel about his production and the way his his whole brand? I mean, is moving? shit, that nigga working, bro. He doing this thing. He he in the side, man. I mean, I applaud any nigga from the side or any nigga who who grinding and getting it in and, and trying to be successful with 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 your God given talent and and putting in the hours for 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 yourself and your business. You know what I'm saying? I applaud any nigga who doing that because that shit hard, dog. Mm -hmm. That shit hard as fuck, man. It's it's easy for you to go. Punch a clock for for another motherfucker dream and vision, and just go there and do what they tell you to do for a certain amount of hours, and get a guaranteed whatever the fuck you twenty five seventeen an hour, or thirty two nineteen an hour, or seventeen fifty fifty an hour, whatever the fuck they is, they pay you an hour. It's easy for you to go ahead and do that. All you gotta do is get your ass to work on time, follow instructions, and be a good worker, and get the fuck home as when when it's time to punch out. When you running your own shit. You gotta do everything. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta manage your own sh money for for your company, for your motherfucking highs. You got babies. You got every fucking thing, man. You gotta maintain. Let me ask you this, man. Uh, the way the, the back in the day when I used to come up here, cause I've been coming up here a long time. I'm old. I used to go down. I, I was remember at 14, 15, uh, We'd get in a, a in a. We had a Thunderbird, and we'll go down through by Dusen Park, my nigga. We used to go to this park and then we'd just come through, nigga, playing music, nigga. Y'all niggas popping trunk and everything else down here. Now, that was even before that era, yeah. to be honest, because I'm old enough to remember that. And when I seen the way y'all flow with that popping trunk, when was the first time you seen nigga pop trunk and do all that and, and ride elbows and vogue? Man, shit, when they start doing that shit out here, I don't even just remember when they was doing it. It's been doing it ever yeah, since you can remember. Yeah, man, just, yeah, that's what they do out here. Like, man, I ain't gonna say like in the 80s I was seeing that shit, but like in the 90s, when it was about start, the 90s, because I remember start, I was in the 80s before it started. Start, when you start seeing swangers and candy paint, that's when you start seeing the pop trunk. Ain't with nobody. The, with, with the banging and all that. Those niggas showing the bang and the lights and shit. That's when you start seeing How do you that. feel like about like Big Crit and them guys, man, loving the style and just captivating it in Mississippi and all these other man, places because of, because, of, because, of, because of Houston? They're in the side, too. I agree I mean, with that. I mean, it's like, man, like, it's like, Good ass dope, or or, or some or or, or, or or a famous ass food that tastes so goddamn good that when people taste that bitch, it just start spreading. Just, just like dope, like that's how that's how the, the the style is, man. Once you grab that shit, that shit is gonna naturally, organically migrate because people gonna 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 grab that shit. Like somebody in the world is gonna like what you do. Check it, somebody man. Is. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive, any genre. Oh, Top shit. three. Only one three. Number one. God damn, man. I, I, I don't even, man. Top any, three any artists. Any genre. Any genre. It can, it can be anybody from... Uh, uh, it could oh, be man. anybody and this is from your top three. Luther Vandross to see, Pimp C. It, it could be gonna, anybody. It ain't gonna even be right. No, no, everybody do this. It's this tradition of the channel. Yeah, that's messed up. Number one. <laughs> that's messed up. <laughs> Number one. 
Mm, of all man. time. Man, I'm going to The I'm GOAT. Gonna... Yeah, man. <laughs> give it up. See, that ain't right. Uh-uh, you know, give so, it up. So you know what I'm going to do? No, you got to give it up. Go I'm going to take the, I'm, I'm going to be wise. Me, me, me. No, ah, nah, 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 you can't right, do man. that. You can't do that. <laughs> no, give us just me, give me, us. Me. You can. It can change, man. <laughs> just tell us who you think the number one artist of all time is. Number one. Man, shit, like I said, I love UGK, man. Okay, yeah, that's your number one. They, 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 they heavy, man. Them. Me and you, we, hey, nigga, I'm gonna have to call too. you every time. I gotta get your personal number. When I come to town, right me and you rocking out, nigga. That, you heard what He's that nigga said. Hey, listen, nigga, we riding, nigga. Me too, that's what I'm telling you. We can hang out, nigga. Okay, that's your number two? Man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shooting Give me a number three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 ye
And I started losing my weight. Then I went back to the doctor. They're like, no high blood pressure, no diabetes. Nigga, you is good. Like, wow. right on, so shit. And you just kept losing it after that. How long did it take you to take the weight off? Like that. Like How much the, did you lose total? I got down to 198, so I lost all... 275, mm -hmm. like, shit. Almost and 100 pounds. Like, almost 100 pounds. And how long did it take about you? About six years? months. Yeah, yeah, about a year. About a year? A year. About a year. About a year to, it took me about a year, to, about a year and a year and a half to get down to, like, 198. Man, big ups to you, man. That's a healthy weight loss. Yeah. That wasn't too quick. That's dope, you know, bro. Let me ask you. I don't take shit. I don't, I don't fuck with nothing. I, at, the, at, the, at the most I take is, like, a pre-workout. Mm -hmm. So you eat all, energy. all, okay, so you said fish, yeah. chicken, Turkey. Turkey. Yeah, chicken, fish, turkey. No fried food. No, no, no fried food. Do you do food. a lot of carbs or no carbs? Uh, I, mean, I love rice, but sometimes I try to be like, nah, you, you can do brown like, rice. Yeah, I, I like jasmine rice. So. <laughs> okay. Rice like that. that rice be uh, good, yeah, don't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I be putting butter in it. I ain't going to lie to you. It's wrong, man. I, I like sauteing my wife a sauteing spinach. And I like put that shit on top of the rice to yeah. make it healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I gotta ask you a question back on the music. Um, did you ever like with Rap a Lot being there? Did you ever sign the Rap a Lot? Did no, you ever do anything no, had, with Jay no, Prince? No, no, we had. A, I remember having a meeting with them before me, Zero, and Trey. We sat up in the um at, at the uh, compound and it was discussing something about doing a couple Gorilla Mall albums with us, but we never did it. Never did it. How, how, do, how important do you think uh, Jay Prince's legacy is uh, here in Houston, Texas? Man, shit, that's the OG, man. Yeah. That's the OG. That's the OG in his time, man. Like, real he shit. been, like I said, he he been doing books and all kind of stuff. He even came out more on the, uh, on social media than I thought he would have ever done, being that I've followed him ever since I was young. And, OG and a I, real powerful dude. I mean, I just hear him say. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, he a real powerful dude, man. And, like, it'd be a lot of Motherfuckers want to see him down because he he do a lot of good shit. You know what I'm saying? And, I never felt that of, way. No, no, no. It's, it's not the people not, here. Not, not, no, not people here. I'm talking about oh, the people, old people up or up, 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 up I see where you going. I see where you, you going now. Bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be them kind of fuckers. Okay, fuckers. yeah, political you know powers saying? and yeah, stuff. So I was like, I just I just hate to see a powerful black man like that go through yeah, shit like that. Yeah, I agree. And and, it, it, and it's not even just him. It's, it's a it's, lot of a lot of them, bro. Yeah. And every time you powerful and black and you take a stand and mm -hmm. like motherfuckers say they, they want to come and get you. Do you see any younger um, person here in Houston who is striving to be almost, you know, in that show? Trey. That nigga is, is pop. That nigga is really, really popular. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, like, I mean, you know. To be like a J Prince. Oh, he dope, man. Like. I mean, I I I don't say like a Jay Prince. He in his own lane, man. Like doing his own yeah, thing. He 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 more like on the, on the humanitarian side. Like when that flood like, came through, he did a lot of work, boy. More than that shit. That nigga be a, 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 every goddamn disaster that happened. That motherfucker gonna pull up. He be pulling up. They they pulled up on the Haiti people just to when they pulled up, they was gone. Wow. They was gone. They like they moved all them people fast wow. as fuck. That's dope. Fast as fuck. They like. Yeah. Straight numbers, like, where they, they went they, to even they, look. They, they took them people to Mexico, I believe. Wow. That's crazy. So, um, man, well, hey, we love you, brother. So sure. We appreciate you for coming and spending time on Boss Talk 101, well, man. I appreciate y'all hey, having me, dog. And if you, and next time you decide to do a Bum B, uh, whatever, video, and I, call your boy. Man, no doubt. I'm going to pull sure, up. Pup, pup going to make sure everybody who, who need to be Right here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, bro, me, bro, there. Bro, get me there. Y'all get me there. I'm going to pull up. Oh, man, I'm with the shit. You man. know what I'm saying? I'm with the shit. Bro. I enjoy, man. I met him a few times, man, and, and just been a dope stand-up guy every time I met him. Yeah. Uh, it was at different places, Vegas or wherever yeah, we yeah. was at, man. Uh, but... Just to just to be able to sit down with you, man, has been an honor and a pleasure, man. Because, like I said, we are. I'm I'm from East Texas. I live in Dallas, but I've been to. Yeah, my been, people got 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 some shit out there in Henderson. In Henderson, yeah, my uncle Mike. I be down there, yeah. yeah CNM Music Store. And oh the, yeah. And the funeral homes and shit. Out yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. My, you be my, going home sometimes, going down there to see well, them. No, that's not well, my home. Going that's down there to see them. Yeah, the people. Yo, we, when we used to be on the road and shit, we used to go out there and fuck around with them and shit. Yeah, yeah you know, just that's good. I'm in the funeral home sometimes. Already, how you you can deal with that funeral home? Man? I can't yeah, deal I just with. I don't it. like the babies and shit. I don't like. I don't like. Yeah, that's babies. bad, man. God, I can't look at a dead body. Yeah. I can't. Not I can't. at all. Mm -mm. Wow. Well, she, I hear Ace time. Yeah. You, 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 you learn gonna, to look at them. You don't fuck around and see them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on okay. Put it this way: a freshly 
freshly, freshly, you know, I can I can look at that. Yeah. But someone who's been sitting on ice for yeah. a long, I can't do that. They don't sit on no damn ice. They sit on that table. <laughs> <laughs> on that goddamn silver steel table. Uh -huh. In there, drain. That's right. Blood out, fluid in. Wow. Mm -hmm. we, hey, hey, that's on that on that note. Mm -hmm. Boss talk one-on-one -on -one is a thing. Y'all... <laughs> I'm nervous, nigga. It's <laughs> Halloween month. <Yeah. laughs> hey, man, you ain't got nothing to worry about, man. Just keep doing what you're doing, man. You having positive energy, man. Putting positive energy out, man. And just stay focused on what you got going on, man. Thank you, man. Everything Thank you so good, much, bro. man. You the dopest dude, man. I, I love the fact be, that man. you came on I Boss Talk be, 101, man. Straight up. Say, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, and man. And I want to tell y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh -oh. yeah. I know a lot of y'all watching us. And not subscribe. Oh. So y'all make sure on YouTube you hit that subscribe button. Oh. And on Instagram, y'all go ahead and follow Boss Talk Podcast 101. Boss Talk Podcast 101. And subscribe. And Bow. we out.